everyone, it's your girl Brain Shanae, and today is the day where I finally share with you my mid-year freakout tag. So usually this is something that I feel like a lot of booktubers do. They do their mid-year freakout tag uh, where they pretty much tell you the best books they've read or the worst books they've read. And I'm here to tell you my experience this year so far. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the questions. So the first one is best book I've read so far in 2024. Um, there has been a lot of great books that I've read. But of course, one of my favorite authors, she recently had her book come out this year. And that is Where Sleeping Girls Lie by uh, Farida Bike Yumide. I really enjoyed this book. I gave it five out of five stars. I know some people probably didn't love it as much as I did. But I really enjoyed this book. I loved it so much. I did a book review for it as well, which I'll leave up above. So after you watch this video, you can check out my book review for this. But I really enjoyed this book. Um, it had a lot of topics, especially that, you know, I feel like a lot of conversations need to be had. Um, and just with the main character alone. So especially when it comes to like a boarding school as well, and there is a mystery attached to it. Um, yeah, it's really good um like I've read Ace of Spades uh by uh uh Farida and I really enjoyed that as well and I did a book review for that as well and so literally when I heard this was coming out this year I like I was so so excited so I really enjoyed this book and it has become one of my top reads of 2024 um but yeah I gave it five five stars for this so there's that the next question is best sequel you've read so far in 2024. Now this book is not necessarily the sequel it's the third book and final book um in this duology um in this uh not duology in this uh series this trilogy and so I really love this book so much five stars for sure just recently came out and that is Mirrored Heavens by Rebecca Roanhorse. <sighs> just now I know a lot of people questioned the second book which I had some questions to regarding you know the pacing wasn't there but let me tell you the pacing for this was absolutely phenomenal especially that now like with this particular book we're getting uh more info regarding uh Serapio's mother and how Serapio became Serapio who, who he was you know um and so this book kept me intrigued I I literally I kept turning the page I wanted to know more I wanted to know what happened I love the love interest between Zalia and and Serapio I love the ending I love the outcome of this book the conclusion of this uh series this trilogy was phenomenal uh so it's not necessarily a sequel but it's part of a series and it I think this could be the exception to to that rule to that question right um but I really enjoyed this book and I feel like if you haven't picked up uh, Black Sun go ahead and do so go to your local library wherever you are able to have access to books wherever you, wherever you have access and pick up Black Sun and then the next book will be a uh, favorite star and then the third and final conclusion of the series is Mirrored Heavens which is freaking good so much action it's action-packed a lot of stuff happens there's you know a lot of people die in this book as well just FYI if you're into all that um but yeah I really really enjoyed this and I think like especially if you like uh, Rebecca Roanhorse definitely pick up this series it's phenomenal pick up the pick up the uh, the trilogy it's it's really good I kid you not and I'm, I'm dead serious so yeah I have to go with this one the next one says new release you haven't read yet but want to um so there are some new releases um that that aren't necessarily not out just yet um like my anticipated reads is like definitely like this ravenous fate which is going to be coming out soon by um Haley Dennings um and then the ending fire by uh Sarah Al Arafi um which I'm really looking forward to um now like I said those are necessarily not out just yet I know uh this ravenous fate by Haley D Dennings is going to be coming out really soon so that's one of the books I'm really looking forward to uh, um another one would be um I'm trying to think it's called Immortal Dark um which I'm looking forward to that that one's not released just yet I'm trying to think of books that 
have been released and that I just haven't got my hands on that I really want to get to. And right now I'm drawing like a blank at this at this point. Um, I'm trying to see because I feel like I've been in the middle of some books. I know, well, actually there is some. Like for a fact, The Goddess of River uh, by Vaishnavi Patel. I want to read this. Um, this book came out earlier this year. Haven't picked it up yet, but I need to do so. So here is this one. Um, which is currently on my TBR. I'm hoping I can get to it. Um, the next book that I definitely want uh, to read is uh, When the Moon Hatched um, by Sarah A. Parker. This is another new release that I definitely want to read and I need to do that soon because now that I think about it I have the audio on Libby and I have like a few days left before Libby decides to take it from me. So I better get to reading this real soon. So there's that. Um, yeah, I think that's the gist of some new releases that I really want to read and get my hands on for sure. Um, let me see. So the next question is, uh, let's see, I think we're on the fifth question, right? Yeah. Uh, the biggest disappointment so far this year. All right. So the first biggest disappointment was Sanctuary of the Shadow by Aurora um, Asher. I did a book review for it. I was really disappointed with it. I gave it two stars. And I'm like, it had no substance. The story didn't feel like it was going anywhere. Um, it just, it was really stale. You know, it just, it didn't pique my interest. I was really bored with it. So yeah, it, it was one of my, one of my disappointed reads of this year. The next biggest disappointment that I was really looking forward to this book. I was rooting for this book, especially with the author I went through last year with a, a very problematic author, which I'm not even going to say her name. She's, she's not even worth that for me even bringing her up. Um, and so I was really excited for this book. And then also there was some delays with the books being uh, the book being released, which was fine. I'm like, you know what, do your thing. That way you need to perfect it. You need to do some more edits to it. Go ahead, because I'm sure it's going to be great. Um, then once the book came out and it released and I read it, I was not into it and was really disappointed with it. And I really wanted to love it. Like I was forcing trying to force myself to love this book, like literally forcing myself. I'm like, okay, maybe it's my mood. Like I was blaming myself and everything. I'm like, maybe it is my mood. Maybe I'm just not in it. But I couldn't get I wasn't connected with this world. I wasn't connected with the main character like I wanted to. And the the story just seemed really confusing. There was a lot going on. It was a lot to unpack at the same time. And you know, I, I read a lot of high fantasy. So I, you know, and so I'm thinking like, what am I not getting? And it's not like, how am I not understanding what's going on? And I just feel like with this book, just a lot of stuff was happening. And it just wasn't the story wasn't connecting. It just seems like so much stuff was going on. I feel like there should have been some more editing uh, when it came to this particular book. And I gave it a two star two stars. And that is uh, The Poisons We Drink by Bethany Baptiste. Um, like I said, I really wanted to love this book. And I just couldn't. Um, I was just so disappointed and I love this cover like the cover is also what got me y'all like hands down but I couldn't get into it like I wanted to so that was one of my biggest biggest disappointments now this next one I was trying to be hopeful I was giving it a benefit of the doubt because I love the first book in the series and then the second one I was like what is this um and then this one I'm like okay it's been a couple of years maybe this book is better than the second one right maybe it's on the same the same vibes as the first book in the series I was wrong <sighs> and so I gave it one star um and I know some people don't come for me. I'm not saying that these the books that I didn't like you, you probably won't like, you know, we read differently. Um, you know, we read different genres, whatever. Now I'm not saying they don't read them. Because you may understand these books better than me, you may actually enjoy it. And that's particularly fine. And that's definitely fine. I just know that these books, they just definitely were not for me. And this one particular was not for me. And that is Children of Anguish and Anarchy by Tommy Ediemi. I gave it one star. Um, I just had like I said, like no connection whatsoever when it comes to this book, when it comes to Zaley, when it comes to Anon, when it comes to Omari. Like, I don't know what it was, like what it is. But literally when I when I read that first book, 
it was it was fire y'all like that the first book in the series was absolutely fire children of blood and bone loved it second book I'm like wait a minute do we is this did another author write this because I was just like what is going on and then we have this one and I just feel like a, a complete disconnect with all the characters um I wasn't really intrigued with the storyline um with the storyline of how everything was with the skulls and stuff it sort of gave me the story like like how sort of like this like how like the Atlantic slave trade like in that type of way where you know they were taken to these ships or whatever to be taken away from their land that's what it was giving to me and so I just felt like the story could have been a lot more than that you know so I just had a complete disconnect with it I did not love it um I was really hopeful and I was like okay all right it's been some years now maybe there is some type of development that I'm going to love and fall back in love with Zaylee and these characters and I was completely wrong with that so yeah I gave it one star I know like this book just wasn't for me but maybe it is for you but yeah this was definitely the biggest disappointment especially since I'm like okay I was giving her the benefit of the doubt now in my opinion if you haven't read this series yet you know I would say read the first book because the first book is absolutely amazing and then leave it at that but that's just my opinion if you want just read all three books you might actually enjoy them but for me I would I would just start with the first book and that would be it because it's just a big letdown a huge letdown but yeah it was definitely a, the biggest a, one of the biggest disappointments this year for sure um let's see uh the biggest surprise I'm going to go with God Killer by Hannah Kainer. I really enjoyed this. Now, I've seen a lot of people, they didn't really like it. They couldn't get into the story, but I actually love this. Um, like the story was giving me, um, especially this was a, a book club pick for, uh, for myself and my members on my channel. And we were reading this together and it was like we were all like in, in sync. We were like, this is giving me like Willow type of vibes, like type of journey. And I'm like, I love this. And it has gods and you have a god killer as well in here. You have a god trying to take over everything. Like it's absolutely amazing absolutely amazing. Then you have a chosen girl, uh, like a girl who can control gods, you know, like that's absolutely amazing. And like I said, I was very skeptical because I heard a lot of mixed things about this particular book. And I'm glad that I read it because I ended up enjoying it. And then I, we ended up reading the second book and the second book was absolutely amazing. And then come to find out there's going to be the third book, which um, Hannah Kainer announced the, what the title of their book is. I think it's going to be released sometime next year in 2025. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what the next book is going to be about and how the story is going to develop and how we're going to see more about these amazing characters in this book. But I was blown away and definitely surprised by this book right here. So there is that. The next one is favorite new author. Um, I'm going to go with Scott Lynch that wrote uh, the uh, Gentleman Bastard series. I read the first book in the series of uh, The Lies of Loch Lamora. And I love this. I love the action. I love the banter. Like Locke is hilarious in this book. Um, I'm really looking forward to the second one. Um, I heard some mixed things about the second one a little bit because it's not as the same as the first one. But I'm hopeful and I'm just really excited to get into this world again. But I really enjoyed Scott Lynch's uh, writing. It was it was I loved it. So I'm continuing with the series for sure. But definitely is considered um, a new favorite author for sure. Um, the next one is newest fictional crush. Okay, now for my fictional crushes, they're from mangas that I've read. So and I have two crushes. Yes, two. So one is from uh, the uh, Vampire Dormitory uh, series. And it's Ruka. Ruka is just, oh, I love him for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> and just how he loves Mito uh, like I just I loved it and so, and then also the next manga um is is from Devil's Line and I really love Anzai Yuki Anzai I love how he just loves uh uh uh, uh Swaska. like I just love it 
so so much and like he tries so hard to stay away from Skasa but he can't because he truly loves her and he, and I think he also loves her so much because she accepts him for who he is and she accepts that he is a devil aka a vampire um and he was just really confused because he's like you don't find me ugly you don't find me disgusting she's like no I don't care if you're human or if you're a vampire or whatever like I I like you and so I love Anzai so my my two fictional crushes is Ruka from the Vampire Dormitory series and also Anzai from Devil's Line. And also I've watched the anime for both of these and it's really good. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> um, the next one is newest favorite character. I don't necessarily have one so I'm not gonna really answer that one unless we talk about my new fictional crushes but nah other than that don't really have an answer for um and a book that made myself made me cry I'm going to go with Thirsty by Jazz Hammonds I recently did a book review for this book so you can leave it uh, I'll leave it up above so you can check it out um but this story just had me in pieces because it just I felt like I really had a deep connection with the main character Blake um especially with what she was going through how she felt like she needed to be um she needed to fit in um and then the this and then the the not the she and the support that she wasn't receiving from her family like I just had a connection with not only just the the character but with the story now I'm not I'm not saying that I necessarily had the same storyline but just for Blake to feel like she needs to fit in and for not having the support system that she needed I had a connection with the story and with the character and so this book made me cry now mind you there is some content warnings in it but it's really freaking good and Jazz Hammonds their writing is phenomenal uh if you haven't read this book book I, I suggest that you do so and also pick up We Deserve Monuments because that one is also phenomenal as well so I have to go with this one book that made me cry this year um the next one uh let's see book that made you happy um I'm going to go with Storm Dawn of a Goddess by Tiffany D. Jackson I really enjoyed this book so freaking much um getting to know Storm or getting to know her prior of being uh, to being Storm I really enjoy knowing Aurora Monroe um and just how she was able to like she didn't love herself at first but then she, when she figured out where she was from and her ancestors she began to love herself and she loved her hair and I just love that so so much you see a lot of development in this story um and you it's like from when she was a kid to not loving herself and to when she lost her fit her parents and then she's just in Cairo trying to you know trying to live what she you know even when she was pickpocketing she was trying to live and do what she needed to do and then when she met T'Challa that was absolutely amazing as well oh! but I I really enjoyed this story so so much and and I just love meeting Aurora Monroe before she was known as Storm so yeah this book's definitely made me happy um the next book most beautiful book you've bought so far this year now I don't have them just yet but it is the um the Dandelion Dynasty by Ken Liu um I was able to get the special editions from the Broken Binding which is right here um I don't have them just yet but I did purchase them and I just cannot wait to have them on my shelves because they're beautiful and I really enjoyed the series so so much so there is that um let's see what books do you need to read by the end of the year um I'm mostly just going with the flow I don't necessarily have a books that I need to it's more like a want um I feel like the some of the books that I want to read they're just not released just yet and I feel like I will get to them when I get to them um but so far I think with um like I've already reached my reading goal this year so I'm planning on continuing on reading more so in my head my next goal before the end of the year I would want to read at least 300 books um so that is my new goals <laughs> since not and and also to read at least 60,000 pages this year so far I've only read 43,000 43,400 and something I think it said on Storygraph um so yeah so necessarily there is not any books that I I, I need to read by the end of the year because I will get to the books that I want to read um I'm not going to put that much pressure on myself um but yeah so far this has been a great year there has been some disappointments there has been ups and downs but yet and still there are a lot of great stories out there that I'm really looking forward to reading and to sharing with all of you and to getting to know new authors and getting to 
you know, support uh, debut authors as well. But that is it. <laughs> Those are all the questions and I, I hope that I, ans I answered them to the best of my ability. Um, but yeah, that is it y'all. I really hope to enjoy it during this video and once again, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified when I upload more videos in the future. But thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you have a great rest of rest, you know, reading year, if you want to say for 2024. Um, and I will check y'all next time y'all will see me next time. Um, yeah, so <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope you are staying healthy and staying safe. And I will catch y'all next time with another video. Bye, everyone.